This formula discusses the autofill function in Excel. We'll be using Excel version 2010 for the demonstration. When you look at the screen, you can see that there's a formula in cell B6 equals sum opening parenthesis B2 colon B5 closing parenthesis. I'd like to see a similar formula at the bottom of columns C and D. Rather than using copy and paste, if I notice that the, that the cursor that is around the cell actually has a small little square in the bottom right hand corner. That's called a handle. And in this case it's actually called the fill handle. When I place my mouse directly on top of that handle in the corner, my mouse will change and become a little black plus sign. Now be careful, there's actually three different shapes that your mouse can make when it's around this cell. When it's in the middle of the cell itself, it's a big white plus sign. That means select. When it's anywhere near the edges of the cell, besides the bottom right hand corner, you'll see it'll turn into a, a crosshairs, which means a plus sign with arrows pointing up and down and left and right with an arrow. That's move. And when I'm in the bottom right hand corner, it turns into a little black plus sign. That's fill. Once I see that symbol, I can simply click and hold and pull to the right. Notice the gray outline as I drag it over to the bottoms of C and D. When I release my mouse, you'll notice that the formula B2, sum of B2 through B5 has been copied and changed into the bottom of C6. So it says the sum of C2 through C5. I'm actually seeing pound signs here within the cell, which means this, that the value is not wide enough for the column. So I'm going to widen column C so I can see the actual total, but it's really the formula bar that I care about. you notice that the B's change to C's, and if I came over here to D6, you'll notice that they change to D's. In Excel, when formulas copy, by default, the references in the cell in the formula will copy relative to where I'm going. Since I copied from B to C and D, all references also increased by one column letter. So my references to column B change to C and change to D. Okay, back to fill. <clears throat> Here's a formula in E2, the sum of B2 through D2. When I click on it, you'll notice the cursor goes around the cell indicating it's selected, but in the bottom right hand corner of that cell, there's a handle. When I line my mouse up on the handle, it turns into a little black plus sign. I'm going to click and hold and drag straight down. When I release, I will have copied the formula. So what was B2 to D2 became B3 to D3, B4 to D4, B5 to D5, B6 to D6. Again, references and formulas copy relative to where they're going. So this can be quite an effective shortcut for copying when the data that I want to copy is directly next to the cell I want to copy the data into. It doesn't work if I want to copy something from column B, say over to column G. In that case, I have to use copy and paste, like I do in other programs. This is called autofill because it actually has some other features. Here I am just in a blank cell. And let's say I had just the month abbreviated, Jan. Well, I shouldn't do that there because I've, I've already formatted that top row. Let me go over here to sheet three and we'll do it here, Jan. Now if I take that and I pull it straight down through 12, you'll notice that it automatically filled the months, February, March, April, May, with the three character abbreviation. Let's say I did it with the uh, days of the week. Again, I'll use the abbreviation, M-O-N, line that mouse up in that corner, click and hold, and pull down, and you'll notice I'm getting the seven days of the week abbreviated. And I could do either of these abbreviated or spelled out. Here's Monday. After I've entered it in, I go to the bottom right hand corner, click and hold and pull down. I don't have to start with Monday. I could have started with Wednesday or, or Thursday or any day of the week. And as I copy down, I can even go farther. It will just repeat and repeat and repeat. This is why it's called fill. 
There are a lot of other features of fill that you'll discuss when you actually take an Excel class. But remember for now that when you place your mouse in the bottom right hand corner of the cell, it will fill the cells you drag to with something. In the case of a formula, it will copy the formula. But sometimes the word that you're trying to copy might be part of a series, like the month or the day of the week, in which case it will replicate that series.